Hello, my name is Kyle Bratch, and welcome to this lighting and electrical buying guide from Cruiser Customizing. Lighting and electrics in general might be the most scary thing when it comes to customizing your motorcycle. Granted, you take a look at a pile of wires like this, this is a wire harness for a driving light bar, you might think, my gosh, that's scary. But in all reality, when you break it down, there are two main types of wires in a motorcycle. You've got ground and power. In this buying guide, we'd like to put to rest some of the fears you might have about doing electrical accessories on your motorcycle. We're going to talk about the specifics of motorcycle electrical systems, and then we're going to dig into turn signals, headlights, driving lights, and tail lights. At the end of this, we hope that you're comfortable enough to tackle some of these jobs on your own. Let's begin with the bare bones essentials of a motorcycle electronic system. Basically you have the battery, which is the heart of the entire system. Quite simply, the battery is going to store 12 volts of power, actually slightly more than 12 volts, but it's going to deliver 12 volts of power to any circuit or switch that asks for that power. Without the battery, the starter couldn't turn. Without the starter turning, the motor wouldn't start. Without the motor running, the stator wouldn't produce power. If the stator didn't produce power, it wouldn't send power to the regulator rectifier to then give power specifically to the battery at 12 volts. Now moving on to wiring in general. Most circuits on the motorcycle are protected by a fuse. Now the motorcycle itself has a fuse block, but if you're adding additional accessories to your motorcycle, it's always important that the accessories have their own fuse, or you tie them into the factory fuse block so as to protect your electrical system. Starting out with the turn signal, as far as the accessory we're going to talk about today, your factory harness has one of two things. You either have two wires or three wires. If you've got a two wire system, most of the time it's going to be a turn signal and a ground wire. If you've got a three wire system, one wire is ground, one wire is that turn signal, the other is your running light. When you purchase aftermarket turn signal accessories, they're going to come in either a one, two, or three wire setup. The one wire setup, such as this silver bullet from Curry Aachen, what happens here is this is really two wires. Inside this housing, there is a wire attached to ground. So this signal actually attaches to your motorcycle, to the frame, and grounds it. And the second wire here is your power wire. Moving on to the two and three wire setup. The two wire setup is going to be exactly like, like the original one, and then this one here would be a three wire setup. When adding LED turn signals to your motorcycle, you're going to need to make sure you install a load equalizer. Load equalizers allow LED turn signals to be able to function with the normal flash rate. As you can see here, this is a model specific load equalizer that will plug directly into a Harley Davidson. And this here is a universal application. Wiring a load equalizer into your existing motorcycle is pretty simple. We have black that's going to go to a ground wire, and then each of these two purple wires will tap into the left and right turn signal. This will keep your motorcycle from having that annoying fast flash when installing LED turn signals. Moving from the turn signal to the headlight, wiring is just as simple. If you take a look at this headlight bulb right here, on the back you're going to have three connections. You're going to have ground, you're going to have low beam, and you're going to have high beam. It's pretty much that simple. You can get maximum light efficiency by swapping out your stock or OEM bulb that's usually a 55-65 watt bulb for a PIA unit or another high-end lighting source. Other ways that you can modify your motorcycle headlight electronics is you can get a complete replacement headlight bucket. This bucket usually comes with the bulb installed already. This new bucket could possibly change the pattern of the headlight or how that, how that light spreads out and hits the road. It will definitely look different aesthetically so you can get that custom look on the front of your bike. Now if you're looking for the most light that you're going to be able to put out of the front of your motorcycle, doing an LED or HID upgrade is always recommended. Kuryakin pretty much owns the market when it comes to Harley Davidson's and the LED upgrades. Fantastic options with the Phase 7. Bike Master, Biker's Choice, and some of the others offer HID kits, which are plug-and-play applications utilizing your stock headlight shell that you simply plug in the HID, and all the components are there to give your motorcycle super, super bright light at half of the wattage. Now let's take a second to talk about driving lights. Traditionally, the driving light bar was the only thing that people put on the front of their motorcycles. Why? It was convenient and it worked great for those classic looking motorcycles. Today there are so many options out there when it comes to putting aftermarket or auxiliary lighting on your motorcycle. 
You can mount them to your frame, your forks, your highway bars, your handlebars. You can mount these things just about anywhere. Now, one word of warning. A lot of these light bar or aftermarket lighting accessories come with the bulb with wires that come out of it. You're then required to do the wiring yourself, tapping either into your low beam or your high beam. Now this poses two huge problems. The first problem is the fact that your stock system may not be equipped to handle the extra juice. For example, your stock headlight is a 5565. You're then putting two more at least 35 watt, if not 55 watt bulbs onto that same circuit. That could be a problem. What we always recommend here at Cruiser Customizing is using a wire harness of some sort to hook up your driving lights. This harness here is from Pia, but almost an identical unit that also has a handlebar mounted switch from Kuryakin is one of our favorites here at Cruiser Customizing. With any high quality wire harness like this, you're going to have positive into the battery, you're going to have a fuse, a relay, a switch, and you're going to have enough wire harness in order to put those lights wherever you're going to want them. When it comes to the rear of your motorcycle, replacing your tail light housing doesn't have to be your only option. An LED replacement board will dramatically increase the amount of light that comes out of the back of your motorcycle. The next step up will be a tail light replacement. These replacements are available from many different manufacturers as just the tail light section itself or the complete shebang. Kuryakin has their tombstone tail light, which also has turn signals that you can integrate into this thing, completely changing and modifying the way the back end of your motorcycle looks. When you look at a wire harness of a motorcycle, there are so many wires running to so many different places. The first thing we recommend is you get a hold of your owner's manual. It's going to tell you what every color of every wire is, where it goes, if there's a switch or a fuse or whatever the case is. Your instruction or repair manual is going to show you exactly those things. The fear of a little electricity shouldn't stop you from doing your own electrical upgrades on your motorcycle. Common tools are really all that's needed. A soldering gun and solder is definitely the best way to go because those connections will not come apart. But you can do this with simple crimp-on connections as well. Thank you for watching this Motorcycle Lighting and Electrical Buying Guide. This really is an overview of electronics of the motorcycle and kind of a step-by-step -step introduction to the various parts of the motorcycle that you can customize and how that process happens. Thanks again for joining us. Until next time, take care and ride safe. <laughs>